What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I know I haven't posted a while in a while on this channel. It's just because I've been a little bit busy, but you guys know. We're gonna keep posting, we're gonna we're gonna upload more content. Um, today's video is just as the title, you know, you guys see it. A lot of people are generating followers, they're generating sales, they're making money online by using Twitter automation. Now, Twitter automation, just a little FYI for you guys, Twitter automation used to be heavily used uh, a few years back, maybe like five, six years ago. Very, very heavily used. Uh, Twitter changed some things with the way softwares connect to the website so that most, like 99.9% .9 of the softwares for Twitter bots will not work anymore. The tool that I'm going to be showing to you today does work, 100% works. Um, you want to have certain ways to set it up, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So you want to think of this video as the first video of many. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to cover everything that you should know about Twitter automation all in one video. Uh, so let's just be clear about a few things. The purpose of Twitter automation is to grow our following, to reach more people, and in that process we of reaching more people, growing our following, we increase our leads, sales, convert, you know, all these different positive aspects to it. Now there are two ways to grow on Twitter. Aside from Twitter automation, you have paying for advertising, and you also have uh, growing organically, meaning you post stuff, people see you, etc. There's a third way to grow on Twitter, which is using other social media to grow. So for example, if you have a YouTube channel uh, for your business, let's just say, or if you have an Instagram account, or if you have any other business, right, on social media, uh, you promote your Twitter link, your, your username, your profile, whatever you want to call it, to your followers on all these other platforms, and they'll see your profile, and hopefully they'll sign up. The only thing with that is, is that for the first time business owner, uh, it's not practical. You know, they don't have a business that's already built. They don't have a YouTube channel that's built. They don't have a uh, Instagram that's built, if that's the way they want to go. They don't have any kind of platform that's actually built. So what we do is we use these tools to actually start by creating our very first uh, business. So I'm going to go over here into an incognito tab, but I want to show my license here on botsandapps.gumroad.com. So bots and apps, it's spelled B-O-T-S-N-A-P-P-S.gumroad.com. And what you're seeing is the website. And by the way, guys, if you click on the link in the description, that is my affiliate link. So you guys are going to get access to uh, the, uh, the website via my affiliate link, meaning if somebody clicks and they purchase, I get a percentage. I actually get like 5% or 15%, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is of what you get, of what you pay for. And there's all different tools here. Um, today, we're going to be reviewing the total tool. I call it the total tool, follow, unfollow, like, and comment. Those are the features that it has. If you look here, you have the follow, unfollow, like. You have the comment. You have the follow, unfollow. You have the like. And then finally, you have the follow, unfollow, like, and comment. I'm going to be going over this one. I have all of them purchased, just to let you guys know. I do have virtual assistants that work on other things, and so they do have access to the other products. For today's video, we're going to be going over the main one, which is the, the most expensive one, $35.99, because it has four tools in it. Each tool, if you look here, the separate cost is $9.99 a month, so $10. And so if you look here, the four tools, the follow, unfollow, like, and comment, is supposed to be for uh, $40, right? But we get a discount, $35.99. I'm not complaining about it, not too bad. I would say then one that, that's the best deal probably is... Um, Either the most expensive one, the thirty-five ninety-nine, because that decreases the price of each one, or the twenty-five ninety-nine one, because you get follow and follow and like. All right. Now let's go ahead and talk about how to use it, how to install it, etc. Okay. I'm gonna have a video on my YouTube channel about how to install it, but the installation is basic. They actually show how to do it on their website. When you download, when you pay for the tool, you're gonna get a file that's in a zip format, zip file. You're going to take that zip file, you're going to click on it, it's going to become a folder. You're going to go over here to your extensions section, you're going to click on these three dots in your browser, you're going to click on more tools, then you're going to click on extensions, okay? And what you're, do, you're going to do, you're not going to see a whole bunch of tools like this unless you have a lot of Chrome extensions, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your file, which is your folder in this case, which is right here, right, this one's mine, and you just drag it and drop it. Um, I think this is it, I'm not even sure. 
Um, but you can see here I have a lot of tools. So you're just going to drag it and drop it. And that's it. And that's how it's installed. Now, just so you guys can know, I do have videos on my website. So I'll just whip out the website here, autopilotpassiveincome.com, on how to install certain tools. So if you go here to the other section and you click on the free Instagram bot installation guide, I know this is about Instagram bots, uh, the, the section here, but they work the exact same way. The installation process is literally the same. So don't like worry about that too much. It's just, just for concept, right? So if you need somebody to show you how to install it, it's there, but they have directions on their website about uh, as how to do that. But like I said, I will make a video on YouTube, um, about how to install the tool. Okay. It will be a quick, like one minute, two minute video. I will do that in the future. But like I said, it's very self-explanatory. You click on any of these, let's click on this one. It will tell you here how to install. It says how to install, uh, after payment, click view contact. You'll be re redirected to your zip file, download the zip file and license key, copy and paste your license key, uh, and download the zip file, Z uh, the zip file, uh, extract it to the folder, paste it in this section. Once you paste the folder, turn, de turn developer mode on, then paste it. Uh, now drag and drop the folder from earlier. Uh, and then that's it. It's installed. So it's very basic, very, very basic, um, as to how to do this. So if you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, but very basic. Okay. So once you get it installed, you'll see these two bars within the app. It won't look like this exactly. They will have a section where you enter your email and a section where you enter the license key. Okay. And you enter your license key, you enter your email, you're good to go. Now I want to make some things uh, apparently clear. The tool that I'm using has the follow, the unfollow, the like, the comment feature. Okay. You can use uh, a tool that doesn't have those features. You can use, for example, the, let's see here. You can use one that has the like feature or the comment feature, or the follow and follow feature, or the follow and follow like, it's up to you. I'm gonna show you how to do, how to utilize all these features today, okay? So let's use, let's go on the comment one first. Let's just start off with the comment one because it's basic. The com, actually, let's go with the like. The like is the easiest one. So we can go to a series of tweets. So like wherever there is a heart button, like a like button like this, it will simply like the tweet. So for example, let me turn this on. I can do this. I can go here to my settings and actually I should talk about the settings before I talk about the buttons. Okay. So in the settings here, which is the th three dots, uh, three arrows on the top, right? Okay. You look here, you have all these different settings. You have quantity post to like quantity post to comment quantity users, follow and follow minimum, maximum delay. Okay. When you go over here, guys, the minimum maximum delay means the amount of time in between each interaction. Okay. So here I set it from one to five, one to five seconds. Now you don't want to go this fast. This is too fast. I recommend if you're going to be using this tool on a daily basis, I recommend anywhere from 50 to 150 seconds for Twitter. Okay. You're going to be setting a hundred here to, or excuse me, 50 to 150. And what that means is that the tool every 50 to 150 seconds, it will perform any one of these actions that you set it to perform, whether you set a follow and unfollow a like, etc. So let's say you want it to do likes. Okay. And that's actually what we're going to do now. I'm going to set this number from one to 10 seconds here. And what that means is that from every one to 10 seconds, it's going to perform one uh, follow. Let me click okay here. Cause it says the value must be greater than zero. We're good with that. We have one to 10 seconds. Okay. And what we're going to do is we want, let's say two likes to occur or three likes. Let's go with three. Okay. Three likes. All right. So what I mean, what, what it's going to do is it's going to look for the like button. It's going to click on three different like buttons. So we have one here. This is an ad. So wait, is it an ad? I'm not even sure. I, yep, it's an ad. It says promoted. So I don't think it's going to like that, uh, but it's going to like this one. It's going to like this one. All right. So let's go ahead and actually show how this works. So let's say I wanted to perform the like. I'll go over here to the like tweets button and I'll just click it. So you can see here, click the first one and it's going to wait from one to 10 seconds to perform the next uh, like. Now, if you look here on the top left corner, it shows how many it's liked already. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to sit back. We need to wait for it to perform the next one and the next one after that. Now I want to be clear. 
this 1 to 10 second range, okay, you could just, by the way, guys, it just did the next one. This 1 to 10 second range is at random. The whole point of this tool is that it has this random um, interaction rate because it's tricking the algorithm, the, the, the algorithm that is, uh, and it just did the third one. So you could see here, uh, I believe here, the work is completed. Now, um, it won't do any more work. Once the work is completed, it won't do any more. You can see your quantity post alike. Three, it's completed. All right, so it won't do any more. The thing with this is, guys, is that um, the reason why it's at random, like I said, and it's, it says here, liking is done, okay? Um, the reason why it's at random is because when the tool is working, okay, if you just set it to do, let's say, a, a like every second, that's going to be too fast. That's the first thing. The second thing is that when it's too fast like that and there's no space in between or no random space, that's going to make Twitter feel like you're a robot. And if Twitter feels like you're a robot, you're going to have less uh, growth. Excuse me. Yawning there. Less growth long term. A little bit tired. But you're going to have less growth long term because what's going to happen is Twitter is going to say, hey, hold up. You're doing too much for your account right now. You're going too fast. And so that's why I recommend the numbers for now, you know, as a beginner, from 50 to 150, okay, per session. Now, the word session means every sitting that, that the bot will sit there and do the work for you until it completely stops. Per session, I recommend no more than 30 in the beginning, right? If this is your first time using this tool, don't do more than 30 for the at least the first week. The reason why I say that is because, like I said, this is your first time using the tool. You want your, your Twitter account to slowly acclimate to the amount of activity you're doing, okay? Now, we, you guys just saw it do the like. So it did three likes. You can see here it did this one, it did this one, it did this one. Now you're going to see it do some follows, okay? So let's go ahead and get the follows going. Okay, so now what you want to do for the follows is we're going to give an example of how to do the follows. So what you need is you need to have a follow list, all right? So let's say Dave Rubin right here. Let's pick up Dave Rubin, and let's, let's click on his followers. He has 1.1 million followers, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to follow his list of followers. Let's say I want to follow 10 of his followers, okay? Or the people that he's, you know, he has as followers, Let's say I want to I wanna follow 10 of them. So we're going to go over here and we're going to look for the right one. So it says here, quantity post to like, quantity post to comment. None of these apply because we're not commenting, we're not liking. Here it says quantity users to follow, unfollow. So we're going to type in 10 here because we want 10 total people that we want to follow. And here we have a minimum delay of 1 second, 10 seconds. And we're actually going to do that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on this follow users button. It's at the top, but I'm going to click it once. You can see I already followed somebody, and I'm just going to move my mouse to the right-hand side and just let it do its thing. And like I said, it's a random number between 1 to 10 because those are the settings that I put. Now, I want to be clear. Do I recommend 1 to 10? Absolutely not. 1 to 10 is too fast. I'm going to say that right away. 1 to 10 is too fast. And you can see here it's going pretty quick. Um, it already did a number of follows already. So... What you want to keep in mind is when you're doing this, guys, and I apologize for the yawning, but when you're doing this, guys, with the work, you know, you have essentially an assistant working for you, okay? And once again, this is too fast, so you don't want to leave it this quick, but this is an example. So it, it basically already followed 10 people. Soon I'm going to get the notice where it says, okay, following done. You could see here, that was random. That was a little bit faster than normal. Why? Because we set 1 to 10, it's, it's going to pick a random number between 1 to 10. So that's why the, the minimum number has to be high enough to give it some time between each action. Okay? Now we did, we covered the like, we covered the follow. Let's go ahead and cover the unfollow. So the way to do that is you need to go to your account and you need to click on your profile. So the way to do this is just go to your profile and you want to open up the list of people that you're following. This is assuming that you want to unfollow. Now, do you have to unfollow people? You don't have to, but this is just assuming that you want to do that. So let's say I want to unfollow three people, okay? I'm going to go over here to the follow and follow. I'm going to change this to three. 
and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select the unfollow button. Remember, it's doing the unfollows based on the 1 to 10 second time frame. I would have to change the 1 to 10 second time frame, okay? So it already did the first unfollow. It's about to do the second, as you can see on the screen, and it's there's only one left. There's a third one, so it's going to follow the next one in line. And once it, un excuse me, not follow, it's going to unfollow the next in line. As you can see, it's doing it now, and it's completed. I should get a message in just about a second saying, the session is completed. You know, it's complete. Yeah, there you go. Unfollowing is done. All right. So we're, we're done there. All right. So now we did follow, we did unfollow, and we also did the like. Now let's go ahead and do the comment. Okay, so with the comment, there's a few things that you could do. You could do it from, let's say, let's just use the feed, for example. And the way to do this is we're going to go over here to our to our uh, tool, and we're going to here click here, set comments. And you can see there's a bunch of comments that's already set for us. And I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And this is the way you actually set your comment. You go over here, you click add comment. You're going to have an empty box. You add whatever you want to add and you leave it the way it is. Once you're completed, add the comments. There's no like OK button. You just go over here to the right hand side, this white X and click X. If you go back to the set comments, you can see here the comment is still there. I'm going to remove that comment because that's not of interest to me. I'm just going to hit the X button. And I'm going to go back here and let's say I want to set two comments. So I want to just do two comments just for the sake of the video, right? So I have quantity post, two comments, and I'm going to leave a delay of one to 10 seconds just for the video, okay? And I'm going to hit comment tweets. So now what it's doing, you could see here to the people that are tweeting, you're commenting at two people. So I just commented at, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Dave Rubin. And I just commented at, um, <clears throat> at, uh, I think president Biden, right? So you could see here, if I just, let me go ahead and move this all the way up. You can see here in both of my accounts here, I'm, I, um, I tweeted at both of these guys, right? And so if I go over here to my profile, I want to do this again one more time, go to my profile, you can see here tweets and replies, okay? I have replies to both of these. You can see the, the replies are right there. And the cool thing about this, guys, is that you can automate your Twitter doing this. We did follow, we did unfollow, we did like, and we did uh, uh, comment, okay? Something that I like and I want to share with you guys today, and, and like I said, I'm going to have a lot of time in the future to talk about this stuff, but I figured I'd share this, is that I like to get creative sometimes with the way that my tool works. So for example, let's say I have some sort of business uh, for Twitter fans, let's say, or excuse me, for Biden fans, let's say I have a shirt with Biden's face on it, and I'm just, and I know this is copyright material, but let's just say I do, even though I don't. Let's just say I do, and I want to sell a t-shirt with Biden's face on it. What I do is I, I post it all on my profile, and I make it abundantly clear to people that I'm selling this t-shirt. And then what I do is I click on this like list, and I could see a whole list of people that have followed President Biden. And what I could do is I could set my tool to follow these people, to interact with the very people that like President Biden. And so that would give me a higher likelihood that people would purchase my stuff right? So I can go over here. And I'm not saying I do this with President Biden stuff, by the way, because let's be honest, I'm not selling any President Biden merch. But let's just click follow here. And you can see here, the people, the, the system is already following the list of people that that liked Biden's post, so, or President, excuse me, President Biden's post. So what I'm trying to say here is there are different ways to utilize these tools, little tricks that I've discovered to utilize these tools to have a more successful outcome with your business, all right? And we're going to have more videos on that in the future, but I figured I'd just throw this free tip out here today. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is how to use the tool. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description box to the tool and also in the pinned comment. If you want to check out the tool, go ahead and do so. Um, it's a great, 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 phenomenal tool. And it does the job really, really well. All right. In the future, I'm going to be making more videos, like I said, on using the tool and things like that. So I figured I'd just put this out there. All right. Talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.